SN1 reactions, mechanism, stereochemistry and factors affecting. Before starting the topic, let us see some basic terminologies. Electrophile, any electron deficient or positively charged species, ion or any region in the molecule, for example, H plus ion or C double bond O, where carbonyl carbon is the electron deficient region, these are known as electrophiles. Nucleophile, any electron rich or negatively charged species, ion, lone pair containing atom or any electron Mechanism of SN1 reaction. Mechanism takes place in two steps. Step 1 is the slow dissociation of the substrate to form the carbocation, whereas step 2 is a fast attack. And forms the carbocation. As this step is slow and hence rated finding and only substrate is involved in this step, therefore it is unimolecular with respect to the concentration of the substrate. In step 2, the incoming nucleophile attacks on the electron deficient substrate carbon and forms the product. As this is a fast step, hence does not play important role in the rate determining state of the reaction.
Therefore, SN1 leads to racemization. nature of the living group the living group must be living the substrate easily and it will be possible if the living group is having the nature that is, is less basic and more polarizable if it is more polarizable it will form a polar bond and the bond will break easily or the faster to form the carbocation easily in step 1 here are some example of the living group consider halogens as the living group now as iodine is a less basic it is a very good living group as compared to the fluorine which is more basic so it is a poor living group therefore a substrate with a uh, iodine will be reacting a solvent with high dielectric constant and ion soluting properties will increase the rate of the SN1 reaction for example Polar hydroxylic solvents like water, methanol and formic acid will increase the rate of the SN1 reaction. These solvents solvate both cations and anions therefore they are capable to stabilize the carbocation which is formed in step 1 or at the transient state. What is an ion soluting property? Consider water. Water possesses both the ends, electron rich end that is oxygen and electron deficient end that is hydrogen. By using its electron rich end. The water can solvate the carbocation and by using its electron deficient end, water can solvate the anion that is a living group. Therefore water can solvate cations as well as the anion. You can refer these books for your preparation. Thanks and all the best for the examination.